Hello everybody and welcome to M&J Games. I am Michael. And I'm Jasmine. And today we are going to take you on a tour of Boulder Beach Amusement Resort. And it was created by TDB694, all lowercase letters. And the explanation about this park is that it's combining modern thrills and classic rides, Boulder Beach Amusement Resort has entertained generations of guests for decades. Join the fun, Boulder Beach Hotel is now open. So as we begin the tour of this park, I think it could be a good area to start here in this car park or this parking lot that's been created. And so as you can kind of see here, I kind of like what's been done to save, um, my guess is to probably save pieces instead of actually having the lines, you just kind of put the um, kind of the curbs there at top. So that looks nice. And I believe this park was made before the latest DLC came out. So we only had this style of car, the kind of old style. Um, and then as we go over here, we see that there's like this long little board walkway over here to the hotel and resort. And so really nice what he's done here. I guess this walkway is an actual pathway so that you can see that some people are walking around it. Um, I like the little <laughs> little floaties and stuff in there. Use the donut and crackers. Yeah, that's yeah. cute. Yeah. And so um, you have any thoughts about this initial part, Jasmine? Um, I like the, I really like that welcome, the welcome sign. Yes. That looks really cute. Yes, and I believe those came with the one of the DLCs. I believe it's like the vintage pack or something, um, and so that that definitely looks nice. So that's a nice little entrance. It's basic. Um, that's not the main entrance to the park in terms of where the guests enter in the game, so it doesn't have the entryways. But let's get started first. Um, let's look at this little ride. Um, I've never actually created one of these wooden coasters before, so let's get started. It's called Leap the Dips. I kind of like how he curved it underneath the, mm -hmm. the main, the start. Yeah, for sure. All right, so first impression. Well, that's cute. I like I like to start my um, parks with a little cute little ride like this that could be for children and families so um, this is really cute and you said you liked it where the car went right underneath the chain right yeah. here mm -hmm. yeah I like that too and like I said I've never built one of these but I know from listening to other people who have made them or have ridden stuff in real life like these things you don't bank them at all and they're supposed to kind of have some kind of rough turns to it um, I do think it was fun. It actually picked up a good amount of speed kind of going right here, more than I kind of was expecting. I would say the only thing is I think some of these hills are just a little bit too too, too, too close quick. close together. Yeah, too close together and too quick. So it kind of seemed like it jolted you up out of your seat to where if this was real life, that probably would be a little bit uncomfortable. But outside of that, I think it's a really good ride. A little basic, you know, just a basic station, but it really works. And I like yeah. how it it goes right beside the pathway or the walkway to like you're going to the hotel so I definitely think overall good ride um, I like that design right there <laughs> kinda makes me feel like the circus or something now let's go to the actual entryway in the park and it's kinda hard to see here because he kinda hit it which looks I think is a good thing so if we were entering the park this is where we would enter from and I like when when creators kind of hide the entrance, right? Because it's it's not as you know what I'm saying it's not that visible, and you can kind of make it seem realistic as you're coming into the park. So it's very heavily shaded. Let's see. So what does that go to? So this goes to okay. So this is a coaster. So let me zoom out real quick and actually see what this coaster is. 
All right, so one thing we can tell is this is a very compact park, right? So let me pause that so we can jump on that coaster. Um, yeah, what do you think about the station here? It's different. I, I mean, I like it. Yeah, it's definitely different. I think it looks good. You used a lot of different pieces. You used the, um, what's this called? The ceramic, it's not ceramic. Um, why am I forgetting? The ceiling panels, that's it. And these are actual coaster supports. Um, so that's nice. And colored it to fit the scheme of the ride. So let's go on and ride this. It's called Helix. Whoa. <laughs> This would be a roller coaster that I'd be scared to go on because I don't like big drops and I definitely don't like hanging like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. She definitely would be um, a little nervous to say the least to ride this ride. <laughs> Looks like it has a lot of speed to start off with. So what were you saying right there, Jasmine? You liked what? How it how it goes through the chero plane right there? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, if you zoom out and you look at the track layout, pretty good design here. Um, definitely weaves in and out of stuff a lot. You know, the only thing I'd say is you kind of see this a lot with roller coasters. Um, you know, with your with the block section, it seems like. You know this this they're waiting up here for a while to go and i know that's not intentional so i'll just think of some way to maybe try to re rework something to where mm -hmm. this this ride is not waiting up here for a while now you do have a block section but let, let me actually check and see if it's actually set up for um for that because it might just be that's not set up like that so it is set up for block section oh here's the problem so number of cars three i would change that to two cars and the reason why or the number of train sorry i would change that to two and the reason i change it to two is because then you're not going to have one stuck and waiting right so you're not going to have as many people getting on but you're also going to have it flow a little bit better in terms of not having to wait there at the top of the hill so that's a good point yeah and just because you don't i mean in real life you don't really see rides like that and yeah but so let's try to find a good path to take because it's very compact which is good um let's go this way the other way on the entrance. So I like these little little picnic tables here. So is there a restaurant around here somewhere? Looks like there's first aid. Yeah, and I'm really not great with the camera. I'm getting better, but so forgive me. I like that little restroom area. That's nice and cute. Yeah, that's cute. Oh, people are getting stuck. <laughs> Yep, maybe it's just too small of a path. All right, so I always forget what this thing's called, but it always seems like a popular ride. So let's go look at the next roller coaster, and let's see, is there anything unique with this path? Yeah, so the path kind of goes up in the building. There you go. So this one is called, clicked on the wrong thing there. So this is a Typhoon and Infinite Coaster and King's Crazy Coaster Ride. Let's pause it and let's get to the proper train. All right. So while we're waiting for it to get started, let's look at some of the stats on this one. I know we didn't do that on the other one. Just to kind of know where we're at. So biggest drop, 35 meters, max speed, 57. So it's 600 meters, so it's not too long of a ride. Let's see how many inversions we've got six inversions so enjoy the ride that's kind of a nice view seeing these other two rides mm -hmm. while waiting mm-hmm let me pause real quick. I'm actually going to put it on track view real quick. 
um, let's go to or bumper view front bumper mm-hmm. get Jasmine a little scared seeing that drop So that's the ride, and as you see, he's got the King Coaster um, statue, statue out here, or whatever you call that, right? So what do you think about the ride? It was probably a little too twisty for me, but that's just my opinion. But I think it's really cute. The color reminds me of McDonald's. <laughs> also, if... I was the creator of this roller coaster. I would want the cars to match, but that's another one of those. Yeah, that's things. A, just my opinion. Yeah, that's a good point. So, and it doesn't have to be anything crazy, but you could just, you know, try to make it match the ride and like make it more yellow with a little bit of red, right? Uh, and maybe that's because I mean, I mean not to, uh, not to. Um, generalize on gender but <laughs> me being a woman I like things to match and coordinate <laughs> yes for sure that's why our building styles a lot of times are so different just because when we start a park I'm like I want to build big coasters and she's like I want everything to be pretty and cute and <laughs> yeah so I did like this part though right here I think that was really really mm -hmm. a nice touch where you have the um, Immelman type right here and then you have the half half corkscrew and then kind of a barrel roll out of it. I just felt like right here could have been a little more smoothed out or something because that seemed a little jumpy. But other than that, the rest of the ride was really smooth. I liked it. Um, I still like this one a little bit more in terms of the track layout because this one has a little more interaction with mm -hmm. everything else. But that was really good. Now let's look at this pier because I know you like making piers. So yeah, this uh, let me is play really it. cute. Yeah, this is a cute little cute little area. You got the little uh, um, water coaster, or not water coaster, you got the log flume. I like this building. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's basic, but it looks really cute for the area. Nice little covering for the queue. So let's see, okay, you got a little, uh, the um, Zoltar, is that what's called? <laughs> From Big. Yeah, this is really nice, I like this part. I think you did a really good job with the, the hotel area, and then this pier area is really nice. Oh, I like this part mm -hmm. underneath. Yeah, that's really nice. I wonder if... Okay, so I was seeing if there if the land was terraformed to that at all. Um, oops, did not mean to make that jumpy. So let's find this other coaster. Let's find this wooden coaster. Wherever... Okay, so I'm guessing it's here. Nope. All right, I'm going to zoom out. You know, sometimes it's hard to find where the queue's at. Oh, it's way back here. Okay, I like this station. Mm-hmm. It's a different color, but it kind of goes in line with this design over here, right? Yeah. So, let's get on this wooden coaster, and let me pause it so I can make sure we get on the ride. So, we're going to sit front bumper on this one. Um, so, let's look at the results. So, max speed 54, so it's not a very tall one. But it looks like it's going to have some good air time. This looks like it's pretty fast. Mm-hmm. All right, 
right, so I don't know about you, but that's my favorite ride out of the four that we've ridden. Really? Yeah, I think, well, I just think he, there's a lot of, like, um, a lot of, um, or how am I forgetting the word? A lot of things in this ride are just, like, a lot of RMCs. Like, you have a lot of these turns that kind of start one way, go another way. Mm-hmm. Um, I think this one right here was the best part of the ride, this little turn at the end where you go kind of the opposite way of what you would normally think. Because you can see that a lot of times on RMCs, you had some little bunny hills and stuff. The inversions you have were the ones that you'll see on these hybrid coasters. So I think it's a very good job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I definitely like it more than the previous roller coaster before mm-hmm. this one. So is your favorite this one right here? Um, was that the first one? Yes. Yeah, I guess, I guess so. Yeah. I think the the only real thing I would say for all the coasters is just rework how many coasters you have on the track. You don't need to have three coasters. To be honest, I never have more than two. And the reason is because of this. I don't want them um, waiting at the top of the chain. Because if you think about if you think about brake sections, right? Brake sections are essentially you can't go past that until the until the other train gets out of the next brake section. So what it's doing is it's stopping it at the chain until the other coaster gets beyond um, a safe place so that nothing bad will happen, essentially. And so I would just move, change that from three trains to two trains. That would be all that needs to be done. Um, and so anything else that you have to say about the park? What do you think about the hotel? So I don't think I asked you about that. No, it's really cute. I do think I like the that pier section the best in this park. Mm-hmm. But... Just because it seemed really realistic to me. Yeah. Let's look at a view. We haven't looked at it from out here much. Yeah, that's really nice. Looks really nice. Really cute. Yeah. And so, once again, this was Boulder Beach Amusement Resort by TDB694. So, as always, make sure to go on the workshop and raid and subscribe to this creator's um, this creator's park. And if you like the videos, make sure and hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Have a great day.